everyone, it's Jessie. In today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup look inspired by this wonderful book right here called The Dreamer by E.J. Mello. The Dreamer is the first book in this contemporary fantasy series. The book is about this girl named Molly who is going out on a date for her birthday with her boyfriend and on her way walking home alone, she gets struck by lightning. Now, before Molly got struck by lightning, she never really remembered that she could dream. And once she gets struck by lightning, she wakes up from a coma and she keeps having these weird dreams, but she's waking up not really remembering them. But when she goes in, she meets this mysterious and handsome boy named Dev. And Dev helps her discover that she sort of has these magical abilities. She basically has the ability to conjure anything that she wants into existence, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. So then Molly is faced with this question, does something exist if you can only see it when your eyes are closed? It's a crazy, lovely book. I really enjoyed it. And since I loved it so much, and since I think that the cover is absolutely stunning, I wanted to create a makeup look based off of it. So the makeup look I created today is sort of a dreamlike blue cotton candy clouds luminous look, I would like to say. I tried to create the dreamlike effect of kind of perfect skin. So there may be a lot of products that I use. I don't usually wear this much makeup. It was just to get that effect of the perfect skin that I would probably have in a dreamlike world. And for my eyes, I kind of stuck with the cover and use like the blues, pinks, and purples to get that cover look. So without further ado, let's hop right into this makeup tutorial and do not forget to check out The Dreamer by EJ Mello because I thoroughly enjoyed it. Five out of five stars. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with it. I'm going to be taking my Dermalogica Clear Start Hydrating Lotion and start off by rubbing that into my face. Next, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and rub that into my face as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade green because I have a little red blotchy skin tone, so I'm just taking this all over my face to help even out my skin tone, and I'm blending it in with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm going to be taking one of my all-time favorite makeup products, which is by NYX, and it is the Color Correcting and Concealer Palette. I'm going to be taking the peach shade and just using my finger, I'm going to rub that underneath my eyes to help cancel out the dark circles. I'm going to be taking the light yellow shade and I'm just putting that on my eyelids in order to help brighten the eye and prep for eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, which I use as my foundation. It isn't my usual foundation, but it's just what I have right now since I ran out of my last one. I absolutely love this foundation, though it is a little too dark for my skin, and this is, I believe, the lightest shade. The shade I'm using is 0.5 Breeze, and I'm just going to take it and dot it all over my face, and then use my Beauty Blender to lightly dab it in. These are some of the eyeshadow brushes I will be using, and most of them are just from the drugstore. For eyeshadow, I'm going to start off with using my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and I'm taking the shade Coconut Cream, which I'm just using as my base and lightly dusting it on. I'm then going to take the pinkish shade called Nougat, and I'm blending that into my crease. And guys, I highly recommend this palette because it is amazing, plus it actually smells like chocolate, which is like the best thing ever. Next, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Vice eyeshadow palette, which I don't know if it's available anymore because I got it for Christmas last year, but I just love this palette because it's full of so many vibrant and bright colors. First off, I'm going to be taking the shade C Note, and then I'm just going to take my rose water and spray the brush when I dab it in the color just to get the color a little more pigmented, and then I'm just putting it right above my lash line. Next, I'm going to take the shade 1985, and I'm using the brush that came with the palette and just blending it into the crease lightly to get that pink kind of purpley tone to stand out a little brighter. Since I felt like the shade C note wasn't bright enough for me, I'm just taking the shade right next to it called Arctic and I'm lightly putting that on top just to make it a little bit brighter. Next, I'm going to be taking the neon pink sheer shade called Fastball, and I'm using that as sort of a transition color between the blue and the pink, and it kind of made a little purple, which I found to be very pretty. Mm -hmm. 
I'm then going to be taking my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette, which is probably one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. It's kind of a staple for me. And then I'm just going to be taking the brush inside and using the flat end. And I'm taking the bright shade called Booty Call, which is kind of like a light whitish pink shimmery highlight color. And I just use that in the inner corner of my eyes to help brighten up my eyes. And then I'm taking this light shimmery silver color called Verve and I'm just putting that in the inner corner of my eye to help transition into the blue. Next I'm taking Boudicall, this time using the fluffy end of the brush and I'm just blending it underneath the brow bone to help highlight and blend in the colors underneath. And then I'm just cleaning up a little fallout. With a thin eyeliner brush from Avon, I'm taking the colors 1985 and Underhand and mixing them together to get a nice purple shade to use as an eyeliner underneath on my bottom lash line. I also smoked out the bottom lash line with a fluffy brush and also went back in and did a little more blending on the top. I'm then using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer, I believe in the lightest shade Y21, and I'm putting it underneath my eyes underneath my cheekbones and on my chin and a little bit on my forehead and the bridge of my nose just to highlight the face a little more and make it a little brighter. After I get that concealer blended out in my beauty blender, I'm taking a black eyeshadow color. I'm using licorice from the Too Faced palette and I'm using it as an eyeliner on my upper lash line. After that, I'm going to be taking Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the shade Air Guitar and directly above the black liner that I just put on, I'm going to be putting a thin line of the glitter on top to add a little shine. Now I'm going to be taking my Baked and Balanced Brighten Foundation in the shade Porcelain. It's a setting powder by Laura Geller, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and putting that all over my face to set the foundation. I'm going to be taking the Invisible Loose Setting Powder, and it's a white sheer powder by Laura Mercier, and I'm taking a small brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is the A23 brush, and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and underneath my cheekbones, just the places that I would like to highlight since it is a white brightening powder. Then I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Chocolate Brown Medium Brown Matte Bronzer. I got this as a deluxe sample at Sephora and I'm just taking an angled contour brush and brushing it lightly into my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, and on each side of my nose. Just places I want to define and contour to look a little sharper. Also, this bronzer does smell like chocolate too, which is an amazing plus. I think it might be one of my favorite bronzers that I've tried. So maybe I should invest in buying the full one soon. Then I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Glisten. And I'm just taking a little fluffy Bare Minerals brush that I got in a Christmas set from my grandma last year. And I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheek to add a little pink to the face. And I really love this blush because it's more of a coral tone which I find really suits my skin tone. Next I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brow brush and the soft brown eyebrow pomade and I'm just filling in my eyebrows and making them a little darker. The pomade is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and a tip I have for making eyebrows look more natural is just going along the lines of your natural hair and not really overfilling or underfilling too much. Now I'm taking my High Beam Highlighter by Benefit. It's like a liquid creamy highlighter. I'm just going to dot it on top of my cheekbones and also on top of my cupid's bow. And be sure not to get your hair stuck in it in the process. And to blend it in, I'm just going to be using my fingers and a little bit with my beauty blender. I'm taking my Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone and my A23 brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just lightly dusting the highlighter on top of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. Now I'm curling my lashes. I'm taking my favorite tightline mascara by the brand IT Cosmetics and I'm just putting the mascara on my upper and lower lash line. One reason I really love this mascara is because the brush is so extremely tiny that you can get right down to the roots. Next, I'm just taking this pink lip liner from Avon that I think my aunt gave me. And I'm just lining my lips and then filling them in lightly 
in order to prepare for the liquid lipstick. Then I'm just taking the liquid lipstick in the shade Bumble that I got from ColourPop Cosmetics, which I have a newfound obsession with ColourPop just because their products are extremely affordable and I just love the formulas. And lastly, I'm just taking that Benetint highlighter and lightly dabbing it in the center of my lips to make my lips look a little bigger. And that is pretty much it. That is the finished look. Yay! We're done! Woohoo! So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about any of the products or techniques that I use, just comment down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!